Hi there, my name is Ms. Froze. I'm the president of the BC Literacy Council of the International Literacy Association, principal of David Livingston Elementary School, and a lover of books. So let's read. The book that we're gonna to read today is called Emily's Idea. And it's written by Christine Evans, who used to be a librarian in Vancouver. Emily's idea started small. Many beautiful ideas do. She folded, doodled, snipped. But also, like many ideas, Emily's small idea grew until her room was alive with pattern and color. On share day, Emily's paper dolls inspired Ms. Tate in room 6B. So everyone folded, doodled, and snipped. Each doll was the same, but different. Her small idea had grown bigger than she was, bigger than she had ever imagined. It was a connection between Luca and Evelyn, between Annabelle and Lou and Nico, between Leah and Henry. And still, Emily's idea grew. And maybe you can see everybody's on their phone. We know what they're doing. Chains hung in the bakery, in the hair salon, even in the post office. Emily's idea flew from coast to coast and floated across the ocean. Friends and strangers joined hands across bridges and town squares, beneath subways and bus shelters. Some people didn't understand. They ripped, belittled, destroyed. But Emily's idea kept growing. Her dolls adorned houses, shops, and schools, stations, trees, and yards. Each doll was different, but the same. Emily stuck each story in her scrapbook, holding hands in Japan and Australia, Qatar and Iceland, South Africa and Mexico. Emily felt fluttery, just like paper dolls in the wind. On the last day of school, Emily hugged her bulging scrapbook. Ms. Tate had a surprise, a parcel adorned with beautiful stamps. Emily ripped. Paper dolls cascaded into her lap. Each doll was different, but the same, just like us. And you can see they say, thank you. So I am thinking this is a fabulous idea. A fabulous idea for Livingston for Valentine's Day and maybe for you at home. Enjoy. Hey boys and girls, I just didn't remind you at the very back of this book um, from Emily's idea, she does have the template put in here so that you can make a template and put it on top of your folded paper and you can cut out the dolls so that you can start making your own and then you would just put a little piece of tape or a little piece of glue and make your string of paper dolls as long as you wanted and and you could decorate them all right good idea have fun